when you come out into the woods, always useful to bring a saw blade with you, like this. And you can always mount it on a piece of hazel, like this. And uh, I've got this and worked it around my knee, so it's nice and springy. So what I'm going to do is mount it across like this. have to be very careful with these, they're incredibly sharp. And this is one out of the cardboard packet, so it didn't come with a uh, plastic protector on the cutting edge. So what I want to do first is I'm just going to cut off the excess. So I'll make a cut there, get rid of that. Flatten the end off. And then I'm just going to pop a little split in it. But I'm making sure the split is in the same plane as the curve. And I'm making sure it's also right down the middle. That needs to be a tiny little one. Also got a couple of little bolts here. That'll help hold the blade in place. One. Now, with that facing away from me, I'm just going to bend it down and see where to mount the other end. About there. I cut it about there. Put a little thumb mark in there. Bend that for a second. So I've got the blade in the other end. One of the most important things here is when you're putting the split is to line the split up with the orientation of the blade. This is where I've just pushed the end into the ground, the blade's out here, and then I'm just sighting along the blade on the end of the wood here, getting it level, and I just hit it like that, and have this other bolt, bend it carefully. go. If you don't have the splits level, your blade will be twisted. Um, but that's pretty good. Just as a final touch with this, put a little notch in the wood on each end. So what will happen is naturally the blade, because it's quite thin, on the back will split its way through the wood and eventually you'll get your saw split into two halves. So that'll just help hold it in place there. Very useful handy little saw. Okay, using a little bow saw that I've made, I've cut some other pieces of wood. Just this big piece in the middle, cut a, cut a couple of notches in the end, just two bits like that, and a bit like this. What you can do then is make yourself a folding buck saw, as they call it. And I've left the cordage on at the top, and I've split these two pieces here just in the ends for the saw blade to go in. I'm going to be very careful with myself here because this saw is incredibly sharp. Yep. Another. It's easier to set this up on the floor because they can be quite tricky. Already, to add the final tension, just got another stick here. I'll put it between the two bits of cordage and I'll just start the twist. There we are. Some of these uh, on. You can get more tension on the blade on this than you can on the bow saw that I made earlier on. Um, so you can saw quicker and saw 
stronger. There we go. Um, this is a very quick rough version that I made. It took me about 10 minutes. But with time, um, you can do a better job of this. You can make it a lot nicer. You can remove some of this centre material here because that's quite weighty. Uh, you have to leave these big ends in place to give support to the uprights. But um, yeah, there we go. Folding buck saw.